Next question is from Merritt Larissa. Is it a good idea to do a deloading week after each phase of a workout plan? First, let's talk about what a deload week is. So essentially, a deload week is you go to the gym, you still work out, but everything's like 50%, right? So 50% weight, 50% reps, 50% intensity. It's like, it's like going to the gym and doing the easiest workout of all time or not working out at all and maybe just focusing on movement and mobility. Now, here's what's interesting about deload weeks. The data shows that when hard training athletes and people who are strength training, whatever, when they do this, they get more muscle gain during the deload week than they do than they do on the other yeah, weeks. Yeah, like, allow their body to recover and it, receive all the benefits. I, I I was never, you know, I was always a like, well, I'll take some time off and go easy when I feel like it type of deal. Now I'm I've, I'm slowly becoming a proponent of scheduling deload weeks because yeah. the, I I see these with myself now quite a bit. So now what I do is every probably every four weeks or so, I do a week of really easy workouts. Not only do I not lose gains, but I kind of start to feel really good. And then when I come back, I'm always improved. And I schedule them because what I've noticed, and this is for me, right? Trainer, fitness podcast host, been doing this forever. I, by the time I think I need a deload week, I'm probably two weeks past when I actually needed one. Yeah. So, and if you look at all of the best workout plans that are out there, which are typically the ones that are for strength sports, like powerlifting and Olympic lifting, they all periodize some form of a deload week. They all include some form of a deload week in there. So, yeah, I think, I mean, the intense, uh, type programming. I think this like applies the most. If you're going to try and do something like this, where you're really scheduling it in yeah. and you're really getting after it. But uh, in terms of like going in between different phases of our workout plans, uh, not, not necessary. I mm -hmm. mean, if you're doing everything uh, in terms of like the, um, listening to your body, resting adequately in between your, your foundational, uh, workouts and you're, you're, you're doing the things that we, we prescribe in terms of like mobility days and, mm -hmm. you know, and you're, you're sort of like oscillating between those, you know, high intensity, low intensity days. Like it's unnecessary. It's, it's really for the, the people that are like, they're, they're doing a whole lot, uh, and they're usually consistent. too much. They're consistently doing it. They're, they're, they're high intensity, uh, this, this makes a massive impact for those kind of people. There's, there's, uh, I'm really careful about how I answer like, this question has been out. I've been asked this question a bunch of times and I'm really careful about how I respond to it because there's obvious value for certain people, uh, with this. There's only one person in this room who I think I, if I was training any of you who I would ever schedule a deload week. And it's the guy who's obsessed with training all the time and mm -hmm. never misses. Everybody else naturally has a deload week. <laughs> I know, the rest of us all, that. life happens and we Very actually have a week where we miss feel. training. It just yeah. organically happens yeah. in our lives. Sal's the only one that doesn't do that. So I would, if I was training each, every person in this room, he's the only one I would be like, okay, this guy's got a lot on his plate. He's got four kids. He never misses a workout. He's always pushing it hard. Okay, Sal, next month you and I are going to do this. And I would make him. Yeah. Everybody else in here, is had enough times in the year where they have well, the life makes them have a deal. Yeah. Yeah. And so, and, and I think most clients are that way. So it really does depend on the person that I'm talking to on whether I would schedule something like this. Now to Justin's point, the way we phase maps programs, you would never have to do that. You should be able to follow program after program. And maybe you go to a, a program with less volume. Like maybe you could just came out of maps aesthetic. Yeah. And so following maps aesthetic up again may make you feel like you need to do lowly. But if you would have went over to maps performance mm -hmm. or uh, symmetry after that, like that would naturally reduce the intensity, yeah. reduce the volume. That would be great for the, without any breaks whatsoever. So it really, really depends on the, the client, if I would do this, and I'm careful about talking about it because I under, obviously I understand the science and the, and the value of deload weeks for your extreme athletes and people like Sal, but that's a very small this percentage the of the population. Fanatics. You know, you know, which programs yeah. of all of the programs that we have, which programs I think people would benefit from doing a deload week only because the programs I'm about to mention, well, first off, one of our programs has deload weeks in them. That's maps anabolic advance. Yeah. That program has deload weeks scheduled in. But there's two programs that I think people would benefit from in inserting a couple deload weeks. And it's mainly because they're high volume workouts and because the typical consumer that we have that buys them probably is overstepping a bit. Like yeah. I know yeah. when mm -hmm. we get a caller 
and they're talking to us, and we're like, oh, you like to overtrain. Oh, you're, and I was like, oh, let me guess what program you're on. Maps Aesthetic yeah, or Maps or Split. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> the yeah, PED <laughs> for sure, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like Maps Split, Maps Aesthetic. Psychopath. The people that like to run those consistently, they'll benefit from from uh, from deload weeks. But yeah, you're right. I mean, you guys follow programs the way we lay them out. Yeah, you'll be totally fine. It's all programmed in. It's there. baked in there. Yeah, absolutely. Look, if you're a coach or a trainer, we have a course. We have a course for you that teaches you how to build your business and become successful. You'll you will not find a course like this anywhere. This is run by us, taught by us. We have put in there what we have seen makes trainers successful. Go to mindpumpfitnesscoaching.com. Get yourself signed up. Also, you can find us on Instagram. Justin is at mindpumpjustin. I'm at mindpumpdestefano, and Adam is at mindpumpadam. <laughs> 